Metoprolol would be enough. And a, she recently, I mean, we can make it as easy as we can or hard as we can. Yeah. I mean, we'll have to, you know, we'll build some, in, in some complexity into it, but like I said, I mean, um, you know, we don't, we don't want to make this um, really super complicated either, but, but no, I think that there's a lot of good detail, um, you know, for me to kind of uh, uh, work with and, and, and Dr. Lusky, like whatever you, whatever you have from the patient chart, um, you know, that, that you could share to kind of help me build this well, would also be great. I like Steve's idea of we just make stuff up. Yeah, we do that. We can absolutely do and that. And that might be better that it fits our, you know, exactly what we want to teach. Sure. You know, that she was uh, shaking chills in the ED, maybe okay. with a temperature, she was red with pustules and had hypertension. So because she was shaking and had a temperature, they thought it was infection, but her white count was, maybe it was like 10,000 borderline. What do you think, okay. Steve? I think that's all fine. Now, when you say temperature, I think these folks often have low temperature. Yeah. Okay. You want to say low? Hypothermic because they tend to be red all over. The heat is fleeing their body because their skin is so warm from all the blood flow. And, um, and the shaking chills is them trying to generate heat to keep get their temperature back to normal. Okay. But All right. if you weren't familiar, you'd assume it was infection. Okay. Very much so. Okay. All right. Great. So that's patient one. Um, okay. How about our um, PPP patient? Steve, one thing, uh, Scott, one thing, can you email me to my UAB email address? Mm -hmm. I have a reminder and I'll try to see a picture. Okay. I All right. I'll we'll see what there. I can find. I'd have to email it to you that way though. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so pommel plantar, in the escape room, you know, you could see a pack of cigarettes on the table. Yeah. And you can have a question about what Bonnie was saying earlier about cigarette smoking and risks of PPP. Yeah. You could have a picture of the person's family and with young children and uh, something about how it's a child people of childbearing potential, women of childbearing potential should not be given acetretin because it's a severe teratogen. Okay. And, um, uh, what else would be fun? Uh, there's something else. Oh, yeah, a trophy, a dance trophy. Uh, because, Why a dance uh, trophy? Because one of the horrible things about PPP is that it's, it's disabling. They only be a couple percent. Oh, yeah. Of the body okay. So they can't area. dance. So they can't dance. Yeah. Okay. Um, so then do we want to make this a woman in her, you know, 30s? Um, you know, and, and we can kind of make, make up whatever information we want. Um, do we want to make it, you know, um, you know, with, you know, have, has one child? Um, you know, not not actively planning to get pregnant, but you know, potentially pursuing the future, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that sounds great. Okay. Uh, any specific uh, ethnic demographics we want to include? Whatever you think we you want to have diversity among all your different cases is good with me. Okay. Uh, so then, what do we want to include in sort of the patient record chart, lab results that would be kind of a uh, uh, you know, kind of unique, different, that would, you know, kind of present some sort of, you know, challenge here. Um, yeah, so before you get the physical exam, all you know, they come to the office, all you know is you're seeing a patient for a rash on their palms and soles. Okay. And so what, the, what would be the differential of that? Uh, syphilis? Yep. I guess lichen planus. Uh, other palm and sole rashes, Bonnie? Uh, contact so, dermatitis? I, mean, I think you have to think of dyshydrosis. Dyshydrosis. That would be the most likely thing. Is it, yeah. Are they pustules or blisters? And, you know, if they're blisters, that would take you down a different path. If they're pustules, is it infection or is it not? Yeah. Um, and then they may... They may or may not have psoriasis anywhere else. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, this is crazy. But if you put a, 
uh, so a hammer and some nails somewhere in the in the scene, and they click on it, and it gives them information about the patient's nails. Yep. So fingernails having fallen off in the last couple of weeks. No. So actually, uh, could be, or you could have nail findings of psoriasis that would lead you towards palmoplantar psoriasis or palmoplantar postulosis over over uh, dyshidrosis. Okay. Yeah, they might, but they often don't. You know, if they have nail findings, then you nailed it. But some people just have the pustulosis without the psoriasis part. Okay. So we could, you know, the nails could be a clue. Yeah, I think and, it would be a clue. The question about nails can separate the yeah. psoriasis family from the dermatitis family. But as Bonnie says, this patient has no nail findings, abnormalities, okay. and therefore it wasn't informative either way. Okay. Um, anything else abnormal about her uh, lab results? You know, palmoplantar plantar pustulosis doesn't have nail and doesn't have blood test abnormalities. They could have a high hemoglobin if they smoke a lot, couldn't they? I like that. That's okay. cool. Their hemoglobin's a little elevated. If you want, I think maybe you could put the smoking in this patient and not in the generalized one. Yeah, okay. I agree. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there could be a lighter on the table, pack of cigarettes. We yep. Talk. Okay. Um, so the main patient complaint is going to be lots of pain in her, in her feet and hands. Um, yeah. Can't trouble walking. Can't yeah. dance anymore. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the, VD, the, the, the syphilis test lab would come back negative. Okay. That'll be good to include. Uh, you're going to want to know something about their um, cholesterol level. Yeah. I, I go to the website. I'm doing it now. Palmo plantar pustulosis dermnet. And they have a nice blurb. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it, probably pummel pointer plus NZ. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that too. For sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. it's gorgeous. And they might even let you use their photos. They have a pretty, um, as long as you use them with attribution, with, they have yeah. a pretty and generous. Here's things that can be associated with it 10 to 25% have psoriasis, um, autoimmune diseases. Uh, particularly gluten sensitive enteropathy, celiac disease, thyroid disease, and type 1 diabetes may be associated with it. So that could be in the labs. Okay. Uh, they may have, um, oh, and it could be provoked by the TNF blockers. What do you think of that, Steve? Uh, that would be a great clue question. Yeah. Because TNF blockers could trigger this. Yep. If they're on TNF blockers for IBD, for, something for. not psoriasis, they're on it for their mm. Crohn's disease. And then they come in with this. Mm. But that would be. Um, okay, so why not on a TNF blocker for their psoriasis? It just does. Yeah, or TNF yeah. blocker for their Crohn's. So, um, in the labs, you're going to want to know their cholesterol, and um, because uh, acetretin, one of the treatments, elevates lipids. Okay, so, but do we want? Okay, but then do we? What so do we want her cholesterol to be abnormal for some reason? Uh, we could go either way. Okay. Well, uh, you know, you could say normal cholesterol, but. She's a woman of childbearing potential, so you're not going to want to give her acetone. Do you want to give this a? Do you make this a guy, or do you want to make both patients girls? Doesn't matter, matter really. Yeah, we can have them both women. That's fine. Okay. Um, okay. So then, what? So then, what are the other uh, uh, treatment options then? Tarp. I mean, acetretin, methotrexate. Yeah, um, I have a bottle of alcohol on the shelf too. Uh, Making methotrexate a poor choice. Yep. Yep. That's probably not a good idea. Yeah. Some vodka. <laughs> Swill. Um, 
Okay, so then, so then, what would be the appropriate or treatment? Then? Glasses or something, maybe a little less, a little more subtle. Yeah. yeah. So what would be? So then, what would be the appropriate choice then? How do you treat it, Steve? I do like acetretin. I do like methotrexate, and then uh, yeah, I like the biologics that we have available. Uh, IL seventeen drugs, IL twenty three blockers are uh, are all reasonable, I think. But okay. use topical steroids, topical tar. Oh yeah, and then topical. So, you tried photo so topical corticosteroids, potent yeah. ones, um, and coal tar very effective. I use LCD, oh, which is okay. a derivative of tar. Okay. You trained at UNC, didn't you, Steve? Yes, I did. I followed in your footsteps. Didn't they use? Because we had a concoction of ten percent LCD, um, two percent salicylic acid. Did you do that? In yeah, LCD. And aqua, equal four parts aquaphor and unibase. Yes. <laughs> Is that <laughs> one that you use? a long time. Yeah, I don't use it anymore, but I do mix up 10% LCD and 2% salicylic acid in a steroid ointment like trimcinolone ointment. Yeah. If you want to have a picture of a giant bug on the wall. Why a <laughs> bug? Because there's a nematode that can infect insects. And it can do it because it has a bacterium in it. It's synergistic with the nematode. And the, way, the, the reason the bacteria helps the nematode is because it produces tapinarov. It produces what? Tapinarov. Oh, yeah. Which binds sterile hydrocarbon receptors, which is how tar works. And so if you think tar would be good, you might also think yeah. tapinarov would be a good choice. Tar is good and phototherapy is good. So would you have maybe a picture of Hawaii? <laughs> I would. I a picture of Hawaii? Because yeah. phototherapy is actually an option for treatment. I would do all that before biologics. I, I haven't used biologics for PPP. One of the, uh, the issues of PPP to get across is that it has a disproportionate effect on quality of life. Because if you can't, yeah, you could have something like a, a, a certificate on the wall from a baking contest that the person won. Yeah. You know, these people tell me I can't use my hands. I can't. I can't cook. You know, I because mm. I'm in so much pain. I know. Yeah. I can't dance. I can't cook. And you get these people where to to get rid of the pustules and their hands still look terrible, but they're like bringing you cookies because I can function again. You know, I agree. Another treatment that it, I use is doc tetracycline derivatives, antibiotics. I mean, I do that before acetretin, depending on how bad the patient is. And okay. you do that because it's anti-inflammatory, because you think there's strep in their body that's driving the process. Because Clayton Wheeler told me to do this, Steve, and I'm just yeah. following in his footsteps. Oh, okay. That's a good reason. But I think it's anti-inflammatory. Yeah. <laughs> because I have given people with this um, pen VK and left them on it to keep the strep gone that maybe in some of them is driving the process. I don't know. Um, so how, how long New Zealand says colchicine, dapsone, methotrexate, type, tetracycline, cyclosporin, and acetretin. So how long does it typically take these patients to get better once, 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 once you start? If they have to quit smoking, but even quitting doesn't help. Mm. Okay. okay. And sometimes they deny they smoke, but then they used to smoke. So they don't have had a smoke now. They just could have smoked in the past because about everybody who has this, apparently there's nicotine receptors in the palms and soles. Mm. That's my understanding. Okay. Yeah. And I wonder if it works both ways that some people are so disabled by it, they take up smoking or other bad habits. Right. Right. So. Right. Okay. Um, now, do either of you guys have an image that we could use for this patient? I know we can, we can look at that at that, at that their net site as well. I don't know if either of you guys have something that would sort of be appropriate to use um, for this one as well. I'm going to look for my image of the pustular stresses. Okay. And I just need to know, can, I might be able to look for it right now if you give me a minute. Sure. If I can open another window. All right, just a second. <clears throat> yeah, I have one. Actually, somebody, another, we're doing a, another. Uh, Pustular psoriasis project, and uh, I got one of our other faculty sent me uh, uh, 
images of a, of a, of a PPP patient. So I'll have to look through those to see if any of those might okay. be appropriate. But that was, I know, I know a, a male, like a, a middle-aged black African-American female or male. So I don't know if that would work so well here. <clears throat> I thought he sent me a picture. I just have to find it. Okay. Uh, um, all right, so I think this is a lot of information um, and a lot of potential avenues to kind of things to ask about and uh, to help develop oh, well. kind of the nuts and bolts of the case. Yeah, Dr. Lucy, you, you can just look at it after I don't know. it's fine. I'm, I'll I'm send you an email um, just to remind you. And um, so I think next steps is I will start putting all the content together, putting the patient case together, putting the questions oh. together. Um, and hopefully in a couple of weeks have, have something for you guys to review and comment on, um, and tweak things as needed, you know, you know, from start to finish this, this, this whole thing, the programming takes, takes a while as well. So hopefully kind of, if not by the end of the okay. year, I found the photo, let me okay, see what is the email address. I forward this to right. you. So it's uh Scott, just wait a second. I'm going to be sure it's coming. This is my lady S C O T T. Yep. Yeah at Excalibur, so e, like like the sword, E-X. X-C-A-L-I-B-E-R or U-R? U-R. Okay. Um, uh, uh, med-ed, so M-E-D-E-D dot -E -D com. Scott at Excalibur with a U-R, med-ed dot com. Yep. All right. These are photos of that patient I just told you about. Awesome. And it's not, I, what I saw did not identify her. Great. Okay. Awesome. So that'd be good for the first. And if, if either of you guys have one for the, uh, that would be good for a PPP patient, that would also be great. Um, and if not, we'll, we, we will try to find something. All and right. we're looking for pustules, not just plumoplantar psoriasis. No, it's pustulosis, oh. which is its own bug. Because not everybody has oh, plexus. I think I have a, do I have a, yeah. I have another call. I apologize. Okay. I'm gonna That's okay. So are you off the today? Or are you just home? All right. I think he's got a call right now. Okay. I heard his phone ringing. All right, you guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Uh, seeing you. you got the picture or you can't tell? Uh, Give me a minute. Yep. Got it. All right. X Perfect. Does that look okay to you? Yep. Perfect. I think this will be great. You're quite welcome. All so right. Thank you so much. Bye, right. guys. Bye. Bye. Wow. That was a lot of information thrown at me. I, I was like, oh, I should have recorded that from the start. I was like, oh, I, I did. Oh, you did. Well, oh, that would be very helpful. Like a voice recording. I'll send it to you because I was.